and turban. Uh, yeah, these niggas all square like Irving. Yeah, we grew up in the hood, no suburbans. Uh, if I say I need my money, then it's urgent. Yeah, yeah, they want me to quit. Yeah, they want me to shift. But as long as I'm alive, we gon' keep on making hits. While they steady shooting bricks, man, it's lit. Yeah, it's lit. Me and Dale back to back, and yeah, I'm this What's going on guys? Today is going to be a banger video. We are heading over to Orlando Speed World. You have already seen us testing over there. We're on 275s. We got the car running phenomenal. Now we got a locked in a couple grudge races. So this video, we are gonna have two huge grudge races plus a shootout. I want to go ahead and win both grudge races. I want to win the shootout and just go over there and clean house, but you know, anything could happen. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna give it our best shot. But the two grudge races that we do have, one is I'm giving the back tire, the brake, and the clear. The other one, I'm running heads up, and then we got the shootout. Later in this video, we'll explain a little bit more about the grudge terms. But before I head over to Orlando, I wanna show y'all the start on the new shop, the Swan Gang Compound. The guys are back here. They're already putting everything together. They've been here for the last two days. They're starting to put panels and everything up. Once we get Get everything closed in they're gonna go ahead and put a header out the front here which is gonna eliminate one of the poles because we have a 20-foot roll-up door that's gonna go out front here we got a man door in the back because we're gonna build a porch off the back end uh, have like a little you know blackstone blacksmith grill type deal uh, when I can invite people over even invite y'all over once we get this all set up and done we are going to invite everybody over here if you can get to Florida you can come hang out you can come have fun and you can eat some food and just hang out with the gang but I built on a porch off the back so we have somewhere where we can uh, smoke some meat and everything we are building uh, a lean-to off of the side of the building over there because we are going to move the race rig from up front back here to the back this will be the race shop operation this is where me and kyle will be 24 7 we will be working on cars we got a lot of stuff coming as in uh doing things with the floors trying to figure out another thing that we're going to do and you can go on the website and you can do it we are going to designate a certain wall just for y'all if y'all go on the website we're still trying to figure out how we can do everything but we are going to have it to where you can buy a piece of the property. As in, we will designate a wall just for y'all. Whenever y'all make y'all's purchase, your name will go on the wall inside the Swan Gang compound and it will be there forever. So make sure, if you haven't done already, subscribe to this channel, go over to the website, get your merch, get everything figured out. Let's head on over to Orlando Speed World because we got some racing to do today. All right guys, so we have made it over here to Orlando Speed World. We got the gang over there. They're getting the pit all set up. We got this thing down to science. I mean, me and the guys, I mean, we can unload the car, get it set up in about 20 minutes. It takes us about 30 minutes to get everything back in the trailer. So I have a pretty stellar team I've put together over the years. They are doing awesome. You got Eric, you got Big Daddy Brian, you got Crazy Kyle, my dad, myself, Tony. Um, we, have, we have a good, good, solid team. And I can't wait to start this season. But we got prenup up out of the trailer. She's uh she's ready to uh what up? People are starting to roll in, guys. Um, we are we are gonna get the car over there. We gotta get it warmed up. Y'all know the process. We're gonna get it warmed up, get it cooled down. We got two grudge races locked in today. We'll go ahead and go over and explain that a little bit. So the first grudge race is gonna go off at three o'clock. The track goes hot at 12. I'll probably make a shakedown around 1:30. Maybe, hopefully we go down the track, everything's working good. My first grudge race is at three o'clock. So I am racing a slower car. Um, they know that they are a slower car, but any two cars can race on the property. So I'm basically having to give them some stuff to be able to make it more of a race. So the race steps are my car versus his. I have to give him the back tire, the brake and the clear. So there's a lot of people out there that do know the turns, but some people that don't, I'll go ahead and explain it to you real quick. So when I go stage the car, you know, every race you see, everybody stages with the front tires. 
Well, because I'm giving him the back tire, that means I get the stage with my front tire. He is gonna roll through the beams and he's gonna stage with his back tire, basically giving him a car length head start. So that's the first part, the back tire. Now we move on to the brake. The brake is basically, I'm not allowed to leave the starting line until he leaves the starting line. So he can sit over there, he can wait, he can figure out what he's got going on. But when he leaves, I'm allowed to leave. So that's what the brake means. Now we did step it because I didn't want to be on the two step with the pro charter and everything for too long that once the tree drops, he can actually leave on the tree. He can leave like a normal race or he can sit there and wait. But once the tree drops, when you see those amber lights, he has to leave within three seconds or the race is won by me. So that's part of the steps back tire. He gets to leave when he wants within the three seconds of the tree after it drops. He can't leave before it drops. He got to leave after it drops. Get three seconds. I have to try to catch him and then I got to clear him at the other end. So the clear is when we get to the eighth mile, my rear bumper has to be in front of his front bumper. There has to be space. So there'll be a camera down there at the other end of the track that will have people down there that will be looking at the race. I have to give him the back tire on the starting line. I have to let him leave. I have to chase him and I have to clear him at the other end. It's gonna be a tough race. It's gonna be extremely hard. One, I'm not going off of the tree. I'm gonna be inside the car. I'm gonna literally have to look over to the other side of the track and wait to see that guy leave. And you know how hard it is? And I've ran these races before. You know how hard it is to leave off of, not off of a tree, but off of a car. By the time you see that thing leave, to go back over, let go of your butt and get ready for your race, there, there's some time involved. But it's gonna be a pretty fun race. Hopefully we can get through that one. Maybe we come off with a win, we don't know. It's a gamble on both sides. We're gonna see how it goes. The next race is a heads up race. We're racing Scotty G, Big Cubic Inch, Nitrous Pro Mod car. Uh, I have to stay on a 275 tire. You see that right there, 275 tire. He is gonna get to be put on a 315. So he gets to put on a bigger tire. So it's more of a gamble on my end than it is his end. But I'm gonna try it, we'll see how it is. I haven't been to a grudge event in a, a couple years, so being able to come out here, have fun, hang out with the fans. Uh, I've already had people come by, they're wanting to get merch and everything. And I appreciate all y'all on there that's buying merch. We are launching uh, the new site, so if you haven't done it already, go over there, check out the website, get your merch. We got stuff on there, but the new shop, uh, I told you in the beginning of the video that we're gonna have a certain area designated for y'all. Once you go on the website, once you purchase, you will get your name put on inside the shop and it's gonna stay there forever. So you'll get to buy basically a piece of the property on the new shop, Swan Gang Compound. But I was able to explain that a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put this car up over there, get it all warmed up, get everything ready, and get ready for our grudge races here in a little while. So we had a little bit of a sprinkle going on. The guys went ahead and filled the car cover up. We're not running no tent today? No tent. No tent. The air out is perfect. The weather's yeah. good. Man. We had a little mist. That was it. A little mist, piss mess. But we're good. Kyle, we got the dry shaft back in the car. Everything's good. We're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. Kyle is on point, him and Brian, Eric, they got everything back together. Uh, we did wipe out a uh, universal. Um, it, it was bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to y'all real quick. You can see where uh, we were having issues. Uh, it just got too hot. So we're gonna watch that today. I mean, it's, it's pretty rough. But uh, we're gonna watch that today, but we got everything back new inside the car. So we're gonna go ahead and prime this thing up. And we're gonna fire her up, get her warmed up, because we're gonna make a shakedown here in about 30 minutes, and then we get ready for our first grudge race at three o'clock. Good to get loud here. Fire in the hole. Good.
trailer guys phenomenal we did not skip a beat got the new drive shaft in there we're gonna get the car up in the air we're gonna look through everything we have a grudge race here in one hour so the guys are gonna be pushing it to get this car turned around everything that needs to be done so we can go hit our grudge race but first pass off the trailer that thing felt like a monster dude dad changed the tune up up a little bit it got out at about 200 foot hiked the wheels back up i felt it inside the car i'll tell you what man this thing's fast i just need to go out there cut a light do my job and see if we can go win these two grudge races but go out here let's see what the guys got going on and we're getting ready for our first grudge race of the day Get everything ready. B, what'd you think? Oh, nice, dude. That was a hell of Did Scotty go down? Uh, Scotty got out to about 150, did a nitrous backfire. Curtis in the uh, truck stood it all the way up on the bumper, so. Oh, but no, man, it hit the 60, it pulled the wheels. The time he came back out, it bam, shot him up again. We got one hour, let's get it ready. What you think, huh? Hey, How you doing? Grit, buddy. Oh, no, it felt like good the in the car. Yeah? I felt to get out about 200 foot and let the tires back Did up. Did they give tickets? Yeah. How, how, how's the ticket look, good? Good. Oh, yeah. We need to, uh, oh, we get up in the air, B. We need to check the drive shaft, yeah. and we need to check the rear gear. Somebody at the other end to check. Yeah, the we need, I'm gonna pick somebody. Who can we put down that? We need somebody rapid bone that won't tell a lie. Good man, Hugo. Hey, Red Hey, him and somebody go down there. Hey, you know how to video? Straight to the car. We just gotta film the clip. You like this car? You like that one? Who the hell? Hey, hey, hey. You gotta be straight across. I got you. You can't be at an angle. At the eighth mile. No, 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 no. If you get in the clear, you should be a car lane from the eighth mile. That's right. You don't be at the eighth mile. Oh shit, the eighth, the eighth mile. mile is the fucking finish line. It's the finish line. Nah, but, motherfucker. But, oh, 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 let me explain it to you, motherfuckers, before you start calling motherfuckers if you don't know the fuck. It ain't shorting the track. You ain't shorting the shit up. Let him explain it. I ain't okay. Go ahead and explain it. That's why they push it. He's right. When he hits the finish line, it's clear. That's right. But see, but if you but if you own the finish line, you don't know where the fuck he at. Don't tell me what the fuck I know. I'm trying to teach you something, boy. Talk to him. And the camera got a wide enough angle. Thank you. There you go. There you they, go. They, listen. Uh, yeah, we ain't trying to teach you. We trying to make it right. We got it. If, yeah. if he on the fucking field line, he said you come down there and you don't know who the fuck he is. Hey, hey, we we just want to get you warmed up there and get you blood pressure. Y'all got to listen to that, though. This is going to be a calling. And you got to be on the track. You got to be on the track. And if he hit him, if he hit his plate, he wins. If he in the plate, he wins. If he in the plate, he wins. If he in the plate, he wins. You should be a calling behind him. Just the fans, I need to be right here. Right. Yeah. And if he hit that thing, anyway, if he in the plate, if he ain't in the paint, he loses. If he's bumping any kind of weight, yeah, he wins. Yeah. But if he's in the paint, he's going to come in the front of the paint. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
That was a good rip right there. He did not make a good rip. That guy who just pulled up next to me. Shit, it came up across me so fucking fast. I don't know. We making crowd racing great again. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him about from here to the finish line. I don't see him. So next day, no, he's there. It was right at the end. Right at the fucking end. Hey, well, either way, good race, man. Oh, yeah, good race, man. Good race, Bubba. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scotty, did you go down? Go down? Hell, yeah. Good luck on your other races. Sitting good. We turn the wind light on. We got to go back to the GoPro footage to see everything. I think I cleared them. I, I come around them. I come around them so fucking fast. It was close, man. I'll tell you that. Well, Kyle, we turned on the wind light. We did. We got to check the GoPro to see what the clear was. That thing shot out of there like a rock. She was on. She was on. That was, that was a little difficult. That was a little difficult. Happened to stage off the other car, watch him leave, and then let me leave off him. That was a little tough, but man, I was happy with it right there. We get back here, we're gonna get to see what dad and all this said, what they got going on. But man, that was a hell of a race right there. I don't think we'll run another race like that. That was, that was good. I was a little nervous in the car. Jamie! Oh! Let's get it ready. We'll take the same race. We! Country. Jane, we'll take the same race that? with Bigfoot. Hey. We'll take the same race with Bigfoot. Hey. We ain't doing that again. Country so didn't want me to do it, but I knew he was going to race with Bigfoot. Sound like a I man down. Hold on, man, man down. Man down. Hey, 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 tell him how many cars he beat him by. Two cars. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hard. It was hard to see. Hey, Country, tell the people when you got to the 330, what was you thinking in the car? Jamie said he was about four out in front of you. Yeah, dude, he was fucking way out there. I couldn't see in the car. What did you hit? Oh no, I well, well, that bitch started going bam, 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 bam. It's over, son. That day was in the car, it was it was shooting air out because it's going through the gears. We have two lockups now, so we turned oh, the second one what? on. We lock, lock and unlock. So, we we got, lock, unlock, lock and up. then lock up again. You remember you remember when you used to see Stevie out there popping? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. I come around him so see, fast. That's why I like to come around hey, y'all guys, because see, Listen, I'm learning. I got the GoPro. They're going to be so fucking mad because the chutes were out in front of the car. You didn't drag the chutes out. Cowboy, you believe that? Hey, you want to know the hardest thing about a race like that is? Yes, sir. Because that was a good pot. And to try something, they have to let him watch the motherfucking leave. <laughs> but you, when I well, told you, hard. that motherfucker right there cold as motherfucking eyes. When you think about that grudge it was, racing, it was, that's my grudge racing right, right there. It was, it, was, it was definitely tough to let someone get a break. Oh, he yeah, was yeah. out there quite a bit. Country. Go back and look at my video. He was out there. Started, man. Lord, I'm good. Got, oh, no, got it. Let's go ahead and turn the car over. Dad, gear and everything was good. Yeah, gear good. We ain't giving nobody else a fucking break. got the video. It don't matter. It was a good race. No, no, no. That was good. I'm saying I couldn't see. It was hard. Hey, um, good thing you had out there. Kyle's broke in. That was his first grudge race. He's 1-0. Let me tell you where they fucked up on that race, when they scheduled that race. And I was okay. And I'm just telling everybody, this is where Curtin and fucked up. They should have ran the head-up race with the break. Because the problem is, when they took the one and one they got out there where you could see them. I would have, if I was in their shoes, I would have took them, and listen, they, they they wanted all the room they can, but if he would have really left before, those two cars would have been a lot different before, but here's what happened. Even though he left, you got to see him. Yeah. That was a fuck up. That that was a rookie mistake on Curtin's part. They should have done the head up clear and the break, and they would that would have been a lot harder race to get. They fucked themselves. Hey, well, tell me what you got there, buddy. Huh? What you got there? We got we got the pot. We yeah, won. We won, right? So this is their pot. I already had mine. Me and Dad, we were in the trailer, but we're gonna count. I won't let you know the whole entire pot of what it is, but it was for some good cookies. So now we got some race car parts that we can go buy. But uh, yeah. we need to help Kyle because we got a grudge race with Scotty yeah, G yeah. at five o'clock. So let's get the car up. The gear seemed to be fine. We were a little yeah. iffy about it the first run, but it was good. But I'm gonna go pull the GoPro footage so we can see what it was like. But dude, I come across it so damn fast, man. It was it was definitely it was definitely a tough race, but it was a fun race. Did, did you hear um, me on the radio? Yeah, down the other end. You got the wind light. Wind light I don't know about the gap. Oh, I was on there. Yeah, I, it, I come around. Oh, and I knew I got. And then you got back to me like, dude, I blew his doors off. But that that's the final. Here's the thing, though, dog. Uh -huh. Let's say if we'd have fucked up and left early and give a race like that. Exactly. Something like that, and you got hey, to let it go. Whatever y'all did. I always try to go with that 37. No, I told them that they were trying to switch it to five. I said I can't do that. They don't want me to do it. Go. All right, dog. So my viewers are a little bit newer to the grudge. No time. Yes, I sir. used to grudge back in the day, but uh -huh. and I explained a little bit to them. But I want you to explain how hard is it? How hard is it to give somebody the break? Give somebody the break. So I gave them the back tire, the brake, and the clear. So I want you to explain to them that people that don't know about it. All right, the, the, the back tire, 
and it's clear. It's not that hard. The break, you got to be on your game. You got to be on your game because you got to anticipate that man leaving. And you get him to break, it's just like you run on a full tree. And if, because he's your tree, you yes. don't have a tree. He's your tree. So if you sit there and look at him too long, you don't really gave him a, a, a big break. Now, Justin, you just gave the man the break, the back tie and the clear. I got a dress And you cleared it. And I cleared him. But, but he got a good break on you. Oh, he did. He got a damn good break on you, Justin. It, you come it, out of Victoria. It was difficult to see in the car, but. Oh, yeah. No. I got a dress. Come over here. Come over here. How long have you been knowing Justin? I've been knowing Justin probably 10 years. 10 years, yes. Youngster, right? Yes, right. So he, all his MPK, not his fans, but the other ones, uh -huh. they hate him. Okay. Because he's, he's aggressive. Okay. He's in their, direct, he's in their face. Right. As drug duration, uh -huh. what is he supposed to do? Exactly what he's doing. Exactly what they're doing. And if the no prep guys don't understand it, since like I said, it's all go hand in hand, but, that's but, what they fault. But what happens if you ain't thick skinned, aggressive, and grudge racer? What will happen to you? You're gonna get fucked. What you happened were, when Kyle Kelly and them came over and tried to run by and all that? What happened? They got ran over. They got ran over. Turn the rule of all of it. No, it's not a matter of. It's and, not a, and how long you been grudge racing? 53 years. You've seen the worst of the worst, the heaviest of the heaviest. And seen it all. And he does what? His he, job. He does his job. All the time. And like I said, you gotta have heart to do this, Justin. You have that. They might not understand it, Justin. They might get mad at you, but that's part of the game. If you gotta you gotta know the game to be in the game. And you're learning your real way, and you're still learning. But like I said, you did a hell of a job. Good props to you. You got another race coming up with our G unit late on the day, and it's a head up race. So you're more in your element now. So all I can tell you to do is to keep going, and good luck to you, bro. What's what's your uh, outlook on the race against G unit? What's your honest opinion? Uh, 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 so is the race just happening? Yeah, what do you think was going to happen? I, I bet it with you. Okay. I bet it with you for the simple fact. Me knowing what I know, I'd say, even if you sleep on the tree, which you did, that your sickly foot and the power in the middle was going to make up for it. And it did. It came around. It came around. I thank you, man. Appreciate well, it. Just the man I wanted to see. Good race. Uh, it was good. He got out there pretty far on me. Man, that bitch, you got humping, bro. That thing was good fine. Yeah. Cowboy! Did you know I had a black son? Hey, I'm glad y'all. Look at him. I'm glad y'all be This is my son. I know. Y'all got him. Uh, I'm glad y'all. Who was it? It was a gap? Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, look at this right here. Look at I this. I want to beat him now. I want it. Look, look at this right here. Man, nobody want to see this shit. Look at this. <laughs> hey, y'all boys. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Kurt, I know you want to see the angle. Come on, let me see it. Look, right there. Look. Look at that. Daddy, I'll delete the video. No, I got to delete it. Don't delete it. He wasn't going to do it no way. Hey. Don't delete it. He wasn't going to do it. He wasn't going to do it. He wasn't going to do it. Hey, look at Kurt. I want to know. Kurt, I was in the car. Hey, Kurt, just know I was smiling in the car. <laughs> Kurt, I was like this. Yeah, I finally got him. I was seven years old. What's up, buddy? Five o'clock. Hey, hey, five o'clock. Five o'clock. got uh, uh, Scotty, Scotty G. G. Head up. Head up. Head up. Look at these guys, dude. Y'all already drinking? Damn. What am I gonna do? So you gonna take a drink with me now? Just drink. Yes. Huh? Yes. You, you've only fucking three and a half years late. I know, but I admitted I was wrong, right? Three and a half years late? 
But you was who on the age at the time. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half no, years you late. Later, not now. I'm done. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, no, I'm loading up. I'm, I'm going Y'all was our last race, race or not. You see this range coming? Fuck that. I'm going to run. I got to swap this transmission. Fuck that shit. It's going home. It's all over the fucking place. Dad wanted me to ask y'all. Oh, here we go. Big coach. If y'all wanted to swap it and try to push it back later, but I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, man. I, I knew the rain wasn't coming. Believe The rain's it. gone. It's 100% gone. gone. Look, you pull up right now. If it was going to hit, it was only going to hit a five by It's gone. drinking. Got it. Me if you don't want that ass <laughs> kid kicking, then I'll just I unload that myself. Long, wait, did I ask how long you're going to be set up like this? Set up like yeah, what? No, you did. did. But I said I'm going Listen, back to We're here now. I know if that. If you don't want that ass cutting, just say you don't want that ass cutting. We'll load yes. that bear up. Load it up. I Let's asked go. him if we got another week, a couple days. Four. What do you need a couple days for? No, if you're still going to have to set up. We were trying. Okay, let's quick. do it in Orangeburg. Where'd you get those cups? We'll be at Orangeburg in two weeks, South Carolina. You know, I'm gonna, I want to go to the right first. Huh? Like that. Only right first. I'm gonna go to the That is the same weekend. I know, I know. I think it's the same place. We got two weeks now. You got two weeks to go to Orangeburg. We'll do it in Orangeburg. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? If I get the freezer fucking run. I'm planning on it, Tony. What do you mean get it run? Is it not running good? What is it? I gotta swap the transmission. That's what happened. Got the fucking rev on the flat. What am I, fat? And let me see the data for it. Look at him. Look down. Why'd you have to give me a diet? And you got you want, regular Coke. You want regular? <laughs> Shit. What? Look, you need a who's, diet. Who drinks diet it? Coke? I do. That, that's that's the age coming out. This is true. <laughs> Look out. I'm going to get one drink with y'all, and then I got to go load my stuff up. Okay. So our second race, guys, our second race, guys, they, they paid the punk out. Their cups are down there. So, so we ain't got no race. So we all, we're one to know, Kyle. We're one to know. One to know. I'm one to know. I don't know about you. I'm one to know. You're one to know, Kyle. Hell yeah. So we need to go load the car up. We need to get it all ready. Yep. Shout out to Scotty G, G Unit for giving us a drink. Kyle doesn't drink. No. But you got some. Where'd B go? These are. I don't know where B went. Brian, you want one? Yeah. We get Brian in here. Part of, part, Brian in. part of the punk what, what out happened? Cool. What'd you see? I gotta get out. Come What'd come you see? No, I owed you. Come in. Huh? We got we gotta have a drink together. Man, right, I, right, I'm right. mad at you your guy. I'm sorry. You say die. Listen, I really, really wanted to do this. Hold up. I'm, sorry. I'm mad at your guy that has taken Listen, three and a half years to do this drink. Oh. No, I did. I'm guilty. Three and a half years. It's okay. But I still, I got it done now though. There you go. Jeez, you did. Only thing Scotty done, what he got going on, save y'all from getting that ass cut. Cause he talked bad to me on the phone this week and I was coming to kill, kill this motherfucker. Oh, really? He told me, so, wait, 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 wait. You, you, you had him too. Hey, he had him so mad. He was, he was, he was, got, he was running around the front yard. That 205 mile an hour was going to show you everything you need to know. Let's just put this on pause. Nah, y'all can't handle Y'all come to Orangeburg. We're going to save you from getting killed. I told him, if y'all can come to Orangeburg in two weeks, that's that's going to be my last grudge race. The 19th. And then I'm doing no prep. You got to start. So I got to start. And then at the end of the year, I'll be back on. You started. Illuminati. Illuminati locked in. You might be able to lock them in, too. Illuminati. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Blood pressure off. I'm just saying, though, but I swear I got them locked in at because that's my last grudge race. Right, right, right. So. Get ready. Right. I like that. That's good. I like the aluminum cups. Yes. You got one you own? Thank you, No, he got one. Oh, he even gave you a hit. You see that? He had to. It's he knew better. It's part of the punk out. He knew better. It's part of the punk out. Fucker. Hey, no, Brian, what did I tell you? This dude was trying to give me Diet Coke. He gave me Diet. It's I thought I was Scotty. We thinking about you. No, come on. Oh, no, man. I, we have to make a minimum weight, so the car's fast enough. I told Dad I don't have to lose weight now. All right, guys, we're getting out of here. Uh, See y'all later. See y'all at the next race. Come up there in two weeks. Two weeks. Let me know. Brian, 1 0. Got a punk out, so now we're 2 0. 2 0. Look at him. Oh! All right, we'll see y'all later. Y'all have fun. We had two, but one paid punk out. So Scotty G paid punk out, and then we won the first one. So we're back here, boys. We're going to go ahead. We're going to load it up. Early video. I apologize, but stay tuned next week. Just know we are in the process of building the shop. The shop's about to close in. If you go over to the website, www.justicewatcher69.com, you can purchase a piece of the property. Uh, inside wall will be designated just to y'all. If you purchase it, you will get your name on the wall. It'll stay up there. It'll be in the Swan Gang compound. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that likes the videos, drops comments under the videos, and just keeps on sharing and everything going on. I'm Justice Swanstrom. We're gonna get out of here. We got the podcast coming back. A lot of people have been asking about the podcast. 
Podcast is coming back. We're in the process of moving everything. That's why we stopped. Our first video back is going to be me and dad. We got a banger dropping for y'all. I can't wait to show y'all. Low blows coming back too. So everybody that's been asking about that, we are going to have everything in swing. We're just trying to uh, get ready for race season. So far, we're doing good. We just got to move it on to our next grudge race and move it on over to No Prep King season five. We'll see y'all next video.